Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Arietta of Spirits. I am very excited to show this off to you. We played a demo of it a while back and it is finally released and I am really excited to get in here and try it out. I want to start off by thanking the developers for giving me a key to the game so that I could show it off to you guys. But as always, my opinion are my own and me getting a key has no effect at all on the opinion so let's jump in here and see what this game is about it is a top down action adventure games i guess so i'm kind of interested to see how it goes and how it plays out we did like i said play a demo but of course that's early section i want to know the full story here so Let's get in here and see. How long still? Almost there. Half an hour or so. We can drive straight to the shore and take the boat from there. It's not like this is your first time here. Right. Can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah, feels weird for me too. It's gonna be the first time there without her. I'm sure the cabin needs fixing up a bit. Wouldn't want grandma's place to deteriorate. I guess so. Cheer up, mom. Now look who's talking. Weren't you just moping around a minute ago? Who remembers that? Hey, do you think the water's cold? I think it should be fine. You know what? I'm sure everything will be just like before. Can't be everything just like before because grandma's not there, but that's kind of sad. It already starts off on a somber note. So that's a little unfortunate. They're going up to the cabin that I guess their grandma or I guess Arietta's grandmother owned and they went up to see her on several occasions over the years and I guess she passed away a year ago and now it's the first time without grandma hit you right in the fields right to begin with but let's see how we go here all right so move around and we can pause if we wanted to okay so there's dad Long trip, huh? Yeah, I'm beat. We've got some work ahead of us. Too bad it isn't my summer vacation, so I'd better just take it easy, right? Very funny. Your mother was looking for you. She said she needed help with something. She should be in the cabin. Oh, I better go and ask what's up. I think I'm going to start with some yard work. The garden looks like a jungle. Well, that not necessarily a good thing. You really don't want to have a jungle in your garden. Grandma would hate seeing it like this. And it seems like there's no going to the forest side spring at the moment. A tree has fallen on the pathway. I think I'm going to start by clearing it out. Gee whiz. It'll probably take me all day. So I bet you the far, the, I was going to say the farmland, but the garden is going to have something to do with it. And then at some point when he removes that log, it'll probably lengthen the area or we can go that new way and have a whole nother section to play in hang in there dad 
Okay, so we can see our objectives. My current objective is to see mom inside the cabin. Well, that's good. Oh, I got a nice little roll there. I love roll attacks like that. Oh, she was even like sweating there a little bit. That's kind of cool. I th yeah, if I do a bunch of rolls or running around, it looks like it, I don't know, tires, or, tires her out a little bit. Talk to mom, see what she has to say. Hi, mom. Oh, hi, honey. You needed my help with something? Yeah, I do. I just started cooking us dinner. And I was thinking I'd make us some apple crumbles as a dessert. But we didn't bring any apples with us. Could you be a sweetie and go pick some? The trees are quite far, but if you follow the trail west from the cab... I know, I know. I love those sour apples from the big tree. Yeah, your grandma liked those too. Mm. Hey, I'll go and get them right away. Well, I guess we're going to get some apples now. Okay, I can handle that. We can, we can, we can pick a few apples. I'm not too worried about that. So west of the cabin here. Okay, Arietta, wait up. Where are you heading? Mom asked me to get some apples for us. She's going to make apple crumble. Nice. I love that stuff. Oh. If you're heading there, you might want to keep your eye out for wasps. They're especially nasty this time of year, and the island is full of them. You should take this with you. So, a dad gives his daughter a sword uh it's a wooden sword but still it's a sword i'm not sure dad i'll be 13 soon don't you think i'm a little too old to play around with this maybe but i don't want you to get stung so if those pesky buzzers come after you just give them a smack with it it might not be sharp but it is solid wood so it should pack a punch Right. Thanks, Dad. Aw, remember when you used to run around as a kid, always swinging that sword around? It drove your mother crazy. Good times, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back with the apples. I like the expressions that they do on the pop-up dialogue images. It's really cool. They're very accurate, very well done. It fits the theme of what they're saying real well. I like that. Squirrel! Let's see if these bushes actually give us anything when we cut any, oh, there's a wasp. A fiery wasp, ah. Yep, yeah, they're, they're deadly, all right. They went right for me. Uh, gotta watch out for the wasp, okay. I wonder, oh. We do have kind of a side swing here. So it looks like from, well, that looks like she covers the whole front area of her, but when it's like this, it doesn't look like it covers the top very well. I wonder that if that actually is gonna affect how I can hit stuff by the swing. Cause some games, especially retro games, as you swung your sword around, your sword was swung mostly from one side and that would affect what you could hit what area around you you would hit stuff i guess better way to say it oh fire wasp in the bush that's not good these guys aren't too hard just got to take them out pretty quickly or they'll come after you okay well he sees me i have to just get, keep them on the edge of the sword basically so that or the edge of the swing so that they don't get close enough to come in for a sting i'm gonna tear down all these bushes because i think they would like eventually have something for me maybe i don't know i also like that i could direct the roll here even if i'm rolling i could like wiggle the roll a little bit this is kind of ominous here. Big open field. 
Butterfly. Oh, I got a butterfly. I got an award for killing a butterfly. I'm not sure that's a good award, though. Really don't think that's an award you really should be proud of. We got a lot of wasps through here, but I think we can manage. They don't seem to be too terribly difficult. I like that they have a little shadow on them as well. And of course, the little like puff marks when she runs or does the roll. I like those. Those are really neat. Like dust or something. She's kicking up. Ooh, is there something back there? That looks like there's something back there. Okay. Oh, another wasp. I guess that's all we're going to be getting into. It looks like right now. They haven't been too difficult now. You just got to have... There, yeah, there. See, you, got, you went after us there with the stinger. You have to be careful because if you hit the... The tree, it's going to mess you up. And then you have that animation to do while the wasp is coming at you. So I would try not to swing at a tree or swing near a tree when you're going after the wasp. That probably would be the better way to do it. I wonder if you could use, yeah, you could use the analog as well as the D-pad. Little informational things like that I like to throw in just so you have an understanding how to control it before you pick it up. Okay, we got two, oh, oh, oh roll. I also want to know one of the other things about this. I wonder if it causes this, oh, no, I was rolling. I'm pretty sure I was rolling there. Yep, okay. So rolling does not give us invincibility frames and that's something that's very important to know as we play through that so no invincibility frames on the rolling i feel it's more like a dodge if they're getting close you could roll away than an actual like roll through kind of thing gotta kill all the bushes not kill i guess kill is not the right word can't really kill bushes there Looks like I can get the butterflies, but I'm not really sure if that does anything for me to attack the butterflies. Ooh, I like that little ramp there. That was kind of cool. Uh-oh. Oh, there's that's the apple trees. Okay, I thought something bad was going to happen right there. Let's get some apples. Can we... The big tree in the middle has always given the best apples, but how am I going to reach them when they are up so high? Well, we just hit the trunk with our sword. Would that work? Maybe with enough force, I can make some of them fall. So either a, yep. Ah, there we go. I was right. Sweet. Yeah, that did it. It probably angered some bees as well. Okay, well, we got that. Can I get any apples out of these? I don't know. Maybe I could use them for health or something. Doesn't look like I got can get any more. I don't have a. I don't believe I have. A items. Yeah, OK, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I just have a wooden sword. OK. Well. Uh Oh, I did anger something out of that tree. That's not good. Oh, crap. Oh, that's a big mama bee. Uh, sorry? I didn't know you guys had a hive in there. Oh, she's not happy too. Let's roll out of the way quickly. We got a wasp wing that's yikes. Boy, she came at us too there. Woo. Okay. Let her. Yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be the way to do it is let her swing at me or charge me and then I get to hit in and on it and these guys might give me hearts maybe ah shoot one of them did but eh no hearts yeah you're no fun okay Ugh. oh she's out of the way there that's not cool get you I got one more to get here oh we got three bees eh. Come on, we got her. 
all we have to do is hit her like one more time i think yeah there we go sweet Whew, that was close i better get back to the cabin i would agree with that back to the cabin would be a great idea so we could have apple crumble i'd really like to be excited for that Okay, well, let's give mom the apples and see what she has to say. Got the apples. Thanks, hon. It looks like I was throwing them in her mouth. Oh, you got plenty. This will only take a minute. Go and tell your dad the dinner's ready. Yes, ma'am. Where is dad? Dad's probably out here somewhere. Do they not notice that I'm, like, hurt right now? I mean, like, I got two hearts off what does that say four side spring hiking trail okay. give me just a second oh wow <laughs> turbo dad <sighs> darn that took a long time hey you're back those wasps give you a hard time Nothing I couldn't handle. Dinner's almost done. Yeah? Let's go and set the table. He looks kind of tired too, a little sweaty around the brow. I like that. Little touches like that are really cool in a game. Everything okay, dear? Yes, it's just... I've been to this island every summer of my life. Yet, this is the first time here without her. That empty chair is almost more than I can bear. This all just brings back so many memories. I swear I can still feel her here. Yet when I turn around to see, she's not there. Not anymore. Aww. Poor mom. Mom? Oh, they're both crying, aren't they now? I miss her so much. We all miss her. It's expected that this visit will bring up some emotions. But I'm sure your mother is smiling down on us and is really glad that we have carried on this tradition. I guess so. Thank you. It'll get better. There's a trap door there. I know that's kind of odd to say it kind of breaks the mood, but there's a trap door in the middle of the kitchen. I just noticed that. It's been a long day with the traveling and all. Maybe we should get some sleep. Everything will look different tomorrow. Arietta. Arietta. Somebody's trying to wake up Arietta, it looks like. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping on these adventures. At the start of a grand adventure, they're always sleeping. Ooh, that's not good. That's a spooky little ghost. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm not sure I know what I'm doing here. I got my sword still? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, what do you got? 
Come talk to me. Somebody tell me what's going on. Oh. Scared of these ghosts. I can't roll. I can attack, but I can't roll. I can't even get to the ghost. Oh, I got that one, I think. I don't know. They're going away too quickly. I'm not sure if I'm actually doing anything by hitting them or not. My light is getting dimmer around me. Go away. Go away. I don't know. Oh gosh. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. No. I'm going to die. Please. Oh, that's either really good or really bad. I'm not sure. It looks good. It kind of drove all the other ones away. The ones that were actually trying to attack me. Arietta. Wake up. Oh, that's... Was I really out there or not? Finally. Who's talking? Here. Huh? Ooh. Ah! A ghost! Shh! Not so loud. We don't want to wake your parents. I can assure you I am not a ghost. Although I understand my looks may suggest otherwise. I must be dreaming still. I am afraid you're wide away. Unfortunately, the situation has dictated that I reveal myself ahead of time. Huh? W what do you mean? Arietta, I have known you for a long time. Although you haven't seen me before, I have been hiding in the shadows for most of your life. I have waited many years for this moment. Listen carefully. I have something important to tell you. My name is Arco. I come from a realm that exists in parallel to the world that you know. It is called the Spirit Realm. Up until now, it has been completely invisible to you as it is to all others. For eons, my kind have served the humans as guides, working together, helping those who have perished and gotten lost, becoming spirits. Trapped echoes of existence, unable to find their way forward. I have given you the ability to perceive the spirit realm around you by binding my energy with yours. You are now what my kind calls a bound, a human that is bound to their spirit guide, which I am to you. This is crazy. Realms 
and spirits so do you mean like ghosts if you want to put it that way the spirit realm is like a veil resting on top of the human world when a human dies but cannot move on to the afterlife they get caught in the veil their energy gets trapped and thus becomes a spirit there is always a reason as to why one ends up this way an unresolved matter from when they were alive or the inability to realize one's unfortunate fate our job is to help these spirits move on Okay, let's say I believe you, but what do you need me? Why not just help these spirits or whatever by yourself? My kind only ever exist as ethereal beings formed out of pure energy. We do not possess a physical body not even in the spirit realm. Therefore, it is impossible for us to make any true differences to the surrounding world. You, however, as a bound, now have the means to interact between both realms, the human world and the spirit realm. Our job is to seek out and guide people like you who we deem fit for the task. And you have displayed a great deal of courage and righteousness, traits that we value throughout your life. Especially so for someone as young as yourself. Yet, it is very uncommon that we grant this ability to anyone until they've come of age. But something has come up. Arietta, there is someone who's in dire need of your help. She is waiting for you on the pier. Okay, let's go see who needs our help. Oh, Grandma? Arietta, darling? Grandma! But how? Y you. Th th there was a. Uh, you, you, you were. Dead? I'm quite aware of it, dear. Now, don't be too sad for me. It was just my time to go. Death is an inevitable part of life, and i am already made my peace with it many years ago. Living as long as I have, you start to reflect on things. Grandma. It's because of your new friend that we got to meet once again. That 
um, strange looking thing. It's Arco, A R C O. And who are you calling strange looking? Grandma, why are you here? Shouldn't you be... I haven't been able to move on just yet. You see, I have a promise to keep for your mother. Over a decade ago, I promised to leave her our old family ring. Just like my mother once gave it to me. Your silver ring? That's right. The silver is from the very same silver mine that is located on this island. It has been in the family for ages. During my last days here, it was lost and I didn't have the chance to come back for it. Until now. I searched high and low and finally managed to find it. It was just lying on the ground at the forest side spring. I've got no idea how it got all the way up there. Yet, as soon as I reached my hand out in an attempt to pick it up, these terrible beings came out of nowhere and surrounded me. I was so frightened that I ran back here and left the ring right where I had found it. It was then that I met Arco. Those awful monsters must have been after the ring too. Hmm, I might have an idea of what those so-called monsters actually were. It's uncommon that they would react like that to a ring though or any object for that matter i am telling you they came straight for it but thank heavens for that since i managed to slip past while they were distracted Maybe we should go and see if it's still there. If what you think is true, I'm interested in seeing this ring myself. So, for a whole year, you've been here? A year? What are you talking about? I've only been here for a little while. I, I think... Don't worry, Grandma. We'll get that ring back. I don't want to get you in any trouble over me. Don't worry. I have Arco here to protect me. We'll be back before you know it. Arco, let's go. Yeah. Please, just be careful. I'll be careful, Grandma. Don't worry. Well, I think that is a rather interesting start for the game. I'm excited to, I was looking to see if there was a save there, load from set last checkpoint settings. 
So we are going to, in the next episode, I want to know when it saves. I want to make sure that we get this saved. It does save on checkpoints. There we go. It saved there as it looks like it saves when we go into a new screen. So that's good. We are saved. We're going to, in the next episode, go check the ring out and see if we can find it and see what it, it's all about. I'm really excited to get in the game and see the full game. I hope you are excited as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.